Hi, this is just a quick video about um, anodic stripping voltammetry. So in this version of talking about anodic stripping voltammetry, at ZEP we're particularly interested in people maybe trying to do it on things like screen printed electrodes. So we have a whole range of screen printed electrodes. And I sort of imagine that they would be using them on a quite a small potential stat with a little screen printed electrode slotted in the front like this one. And then they would be thinking about developing applications or analysis for things like um, arsenic in water. So I'm kind of thinking that, you know, um, there's a problem with arsenic because people are doing deep well um, or pumping from deep wells. And therefore they're bringing arsenic up and they don't want the local population to kind of get this kind of poisoning from the arsenic. So they need to develop a method for analyzing it. And a good uh, a method is anodic stripping voltammetry. So I'm imagining that they're going to um, have their screen printed electrode in the in the potential stat and they'll apply a positive voltage and that's really a cleaning step then they'll apply a negative voltage and that would um, electroplate the ions out of the sample onto the electrode then they would do an equilibrium step and then they would do a um, a linear sweep voltammetry from cathodic to anodic and as they swept they would reoxidize the um, the metals back to their ions and depending on the peak position and the peak intensity or height then you would sort of say oh that's zinc and that's cadmium and that's lead and that's arsenic and because of its height I know how much arsenic is there and that's for example copper so I've described the kind of th the practical setup which is something like a screen printed electrode in a little potential stat um, then I've described the idea of the methodology which is clean the electrode, deposit the metal on the electrode, let it equilibrate, then um, do the anodic um, stripping voltammogram. And then you can look at your raw data and say, ah, because of the peak position and the peak height, that's how much of that metal was in um, solution. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring up a um, piece of software um, that we use to drive the potential stat. And a lot of the time I'm just looking down this menu here, but today I'm actually going to use um, scripting. So scripting allows me to write more um, more advanced um, menus. So let's just go there. So if I open this up, um, I'll just remove that for a second. So the first thing I want to do in my scripting language is I want to turn my cell on. So this means I'm going to turn my electrodes on. So now that's on. The next thing I want to do is um, is create a um, a cleaning step. We'll call it cleaning two. Oops. So I'm cleaning it, and I'm going to um, yeah, I'm going to do a chrono amperometry, which is fine, and I'm going to do it by um, applying maybe um, one volt. For, um, and I'll have a save rate of one second and I will do it for 60 seconds. So this is my cleaning step. So there we are, I've got my cleaning step in there. The next thing I want to do is I want to do my um, electrochemical or my plating or my electrochemical deposition. So I will do that and I will call it um, deposition. And I will um, edit it. So I'm going to do it by um, applying negative 1.5 volts. Um, my save rate will be um, one every second. I'll do that for 180 seconds. I'll save and close that. Now I'm going to do my um, equilibrium um, step. I'll call it an equilibrium. And I will uh, just put my, I'm going to keep my, my conditions quite similar. So I'll call it um, minus 1.5, save rate of 1, 60 seconds. So on cleaning, deposition, equilibrium. And now the last one is that linear sweep that I discussed. So I'll just go um, measurement, uh, create that. 
um, linear sweep voltammetry 3, LSV3, let's call it. And I will, uh, so we're going to, we're going to have to look for linear sweep voltammetry, which is here. And I'm going to, um, I'll have a, an equilibrium time of like once, maybe two seconds here. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll, we'll be starting at minus 1.5 volts, because that's where the last one finished. We will sweep to one volt. We'll do it in steps of 10 millivolts, and we'll have a sweep rate of um, 10 millivolts. And that's it. So what that, so, um, what that will allow you to do then is it will um, set do a series of steps. It will turn the electrode on. It will do a cleaning step, a deposition step, an equilibrium step, and a linear sweep voltammetry. And that's how you do um, a nodic stripping voltammetry with the idea of doing it maybe on little potential stats with little screen printed electrodes. And then you can use the scripting feature to write some nice um, sequence of experiments. Okay, I hope that helps. Thank you very much.